You mentioned history. Listen, the Bell Center's only been open for 27 years. Late 90s, Bell Center opens in Montreal, but the history, the rich, rich history of this franchise in this city goes back a long, long time. For a little tour now, here's Jody and Metz, or uh, Jody and Rims, rather, inside the building. Well, Mr. Rimmer, we're back to one of your early stops in broadcasting, Montreal. This is place has got tons of history, and thanks to you and your contacts, we're going to get in the Montreal Canadiens locker room. Thanks to the Canadiens PR department, but uh, yeah, this is the hallowed uh, dressing room, and uh, not everybody gets in here other than the players, so we're looking forward to getting in. Lots of memories. Let's go in here and check it out, see what you, uh, you probably recognize a few players in stalls. I'll recognize more than a few here, and let's start with this guy. I got to know him well, the flower, Guy Lafleur. Unfortunately, he's passed away, but boy, this guy would bring you out of your seats. It didn't matter if you were a young 10-year-old or an 80-year-old, you would be out of your seats the way this guy could fly. And you got a relationship with him? I sure did. Uh, got to know Guy really well, along with all the Canadians in the late 70s. They won four Stanley Cups during my seven years here in Montreal. That was quite an accomplishment. You're spoiled, Jeff. Yeah, very spoiled, to be honest with you. But take a look at the Wall of Fame here. Uh, some of these guys were here before I started broadcasting. Okay. I don't want you to start talking about the likes. There's uh, Doug Harvey. Jean Beliveau was here. Uh, just finished his career. They grow Bill, as they called him. Just a class act on and off the ice. Henri Richard got to know Gump Worsley very well. Uh, how about Frank Mahovlich? Growing up in Toronto, he was my big and most favorite player, the Big M, as he was referred to. Cornwallier was here, and here's where the guys in the late 70s were a big part. And if we can pan over to uh, the Hall of Fame there, you can see Dryden, Jacques Lemaire, Bert Olmsted, Sir Savard, Jacques uh, Laperriere. There's Lafleur again. So who did you have relationships with? I mean, you were here doing pre-post on radio when you started. 40-something, 40 46 years ago, we'll say? Well, 47 years overall in the National Hockey League. But uh, I'll tell you, uh, guys that I got to know well, all West Island guys, Lafleur, Bob Ganey, Steve Shutt, Larry Robinson was my neighbor just around the corner. Oh, Rob lucky Lane. Larry. Yeah, he was lucky. I lived, actually lived in his house. We were building ours. Larry goes back to Ottawa for the summer. He says, the Rimmers are invited to stay at our place. So we lived in his house for the summer before our house was finished. Rod Langway... Patrick Waugh was after me. Take a look as we conclude here. Look at the end there. He, I wasn't here when he was here. I was long gone. Doesn't that guy look a little familiar? Second to last. Next to Guy Carboneau. Who is that? Of course, that's Mark Recchi. He's assistant coach with the Blue Jackets, part of the Montreal Canadiens organization, this historic franchise, Jeff. And you, uh, you have some great memories of days here in Montreal. Great, great time in Montreal. Uh, I tell you, uh, these guys were just great to be around. They were my peers around the same age I was and spent a lot of Saturday nights after games at uh, the Molson's house and having late night dinners and a few beers with the boys. It was great. Well, thanks for your time. Here we are just about to leave the Montreal Canadiens locker room. This is where Jeff Rimmer started. Thanks, Jeff. Great to be with you, Jody, as always. Original Six franchise, 24 Stanley Cups. That's right. It's just been a little while, and that's a point of contention. Yeah, it's been a while, but yeah, what a great tour by yeah. Jody and Rams yeah. to show us Liked the inside it. of the room. I've never been there personally, but yeah, it's like a temple in there. You walk in there, and it doesn't need to be flashy just to see all these names on the no. wall. It's pretty special.